Okay, so I didn't find any way to relieve the pressure without doing a little too much than I wanted to do, let's put it that way, or more than I wanted to do. This is the part, it's got a little O-ring on it. So what I did was I loosened it, moved it around a little bit, pulled it out, held a rag over it, and sure enough, a little bit of gas came out, um, but not that much. So um, it was sufficient in controlling the spillage. Anyway, this is the old one. I'm going to take it apart later and see what, what in here that is worth $180. I, I just don't get it. But anyway, actually I do get it. Ford engineers and just about all car manufacturers engineer this stuff to break down. So within the life period of the car you have to buy a part. And if they sell a million cars and each one of these parts they make $100 on, that's $100 million just for a uh, little extra engineering work to make sure that it does go bad and uh, they can sell you the part plus the labor so this is uh, this is how corporate America uh, repays their uh, people who are uh, loyal to their products I've been buying Fords since I was old enough to drive and it wasn't always like this but uh, I guess people are just getting smarter figuring out a way to get your money out of your pocket. Okay, enough of that.